Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to construct an involute of a square where we are going to construct the tangent and normal to the curve that we've gotten from the involute. Now we are given that the length of the square is 20 millimeter, right? So you can you know a square all sides are what are equal. So we we'll start by constructing the sides of the square. So I'll just say okay. I'll draw my horizontal line first of all this way. Faint line. You can see that. And I'll pick points 20 millimeter. I'll start from one here. Right? So if I start from 1 here, then my 1 that I'm starting from will be 0, so this will be 10 and this will be 20, since the side of the square is 20 millimeter, right? So if you have one side of the square 20 millimeter, it means that what all sides are what equal in a square. So this is 20, so I will call it A and what? And B. Now I will complete it. Use my C square, place it on my T square. I'll go to point B. I will project a vertical line this way. And I'll go to point A. I'll project another vertical line this way. Now I can easily use my compass, right? And place it in between A and B. You can see that in between A and B, then I'll strike an arc up here. I can do it for both sides if I want to this way, or I'll just take my just do it for one point, then take it to that point, then just construct join them together this way. So any of them. So this is the square that I am hoping to get after you've constructed the square now it's for we to draw the involute of the square so this is a this is b this is c and what and this is d what i will do is i will draw an horizontal line this way you can see that that is the first one towards the right right and i'll come up also I'll draw another horizontal line towards the left. You can see the logic. You draw towards the right at the base here, and you draw towards the left here. Now, similarly, you come here. Since you've already draw, you've already draw a line here. You come to A. You draw, knowing fully well that your T square, your C square is on what? On your T square. So that is what will guide you. Or you just place your rule now on this line this way ensure that it is um straight right i'll just draw another line this way you can see that now since i've drawn on the left hand side a i'll now draw on the right hand side on d so i'll do the same thing on d now this is what we have right now the next thing we'll do is that with the help of your um with the help of your compass you place it from A to B. Are you with me? From A to B. Then you draw an arc this way. You can see that you're taking it. This is from where? From A to B. Now, you go from C to what? To the to this point here, right? I should call here to be my radius what? Radius one. So from C. 
to it just one now you can see that i'm going to draw another one this way i'll draw another one this way you just draw another one this way you can see that so i'll call that point to be radius what radius two now the same thing from d to radius two you gauge it you can see then you draw another one that will go to this point and i'll call that to be my radius what three now i will now go from b right down to radius three here are you with me then you're going to do that So you're going to take in it. So this is what we have here. Now the main aim is to draw the tangent and the normal. So I'll pick any point on this arc here. Right? Now the point I'm picking actually, let me say I want my normal to be to this point here. Right? So I'm going to draw a line from here. That is going to touch this point so i will take in it to touch here so this line i draw now is what is my normal this is the normal right now i want to draw the tangent the tangent must be 90 degree to what to the normal so there are many ways that you can actually get the 90 degree but i'll be making use of my s squared this time so how will i do that i will just place my s square at this point here ensure that it is what it is on the same line from b to let me call it point p wait me let me call it point p so from b to point p Ensure that it is what like this, right? So I will just gauge it to that point. You can see that. So from there, if it's in the, on that way, I'll just do the next four. So I'll just draw this this way first. You can see that, and I can now complete it. I do it is now you can see that it is perpendicular to this line here so this line you are seeing that is perpendicular to p is called what the tangent so let me just call here to be s p so the line s p is the tangent while the line b p is what is the normal so if you have uh, found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.